Hello guys, in this lesson we will focus on how to create a mass parameter in terms of the system dynamics modeling approach in active suspension design system. Okay, and so in this lesson we are focusing on this mass parameter which is the one of the main subject of the system dynamics modeling <coughs> otherwise the spring and damping ratio is included or are included into this uh, dynamic equation but in engineering approach uh, we should first create uh, this parameter in order to design a uh, physical systems in terms of or by looking or by using at the shape parameter and material selection okay and so mass is related to the dynamic equation is directly <coughs> related or concerning about the moving parts in dynamics okay which means that we should not include the static part or the not moving part into our dynamic equation okay and so in order to create a this a kind of dynamical system we should determine the moving parts in this a suspension design system or the oleo structure in oleo structure and then we should create a free body diagrams in order to create a full picture of these things okay and so <clears throat> in the first place what are we have the moving parts in all a structure and so we have a link in here we have a link in here and then the first part is consist of these two links okay and so in the second part we have the mass parameter related to the piston of the damping coefficients or the damping system at this position okay and so we can create the mass parameter as a collection of these two things okay and so in free body diagram can be split into these in two parts and so we have a link parameter in here and just like that the this uh, free body diagram its only drawing is included in here and so this a uh, sham the represents the whole the future of this uh, spring coefficient related to the, the these two links okay and so in the second place we have a piston value to creating a damping ratio at this time and so we have the this kind of moving parts in here as a mc value cylindrical piston okay and so <coughs> in order to establish the whole the mass factor in our dynamic system we have the m1 parameter in here and one parameter in here okay these two links are the same with the this is structure variable and so we have also l1 and l1 value as a dimension of these links okay <coughs> this is important because we need to create a shape parameter design in physical or real life application <coughs> and then we can calculate uh, by using l1 and m1 value in order to create a shape selection and material selection one okay and then <coughs> we should add the specific force dynamic in here it's uh, caused by the car or the active suspension actuator in here but in order to create a dynamic modeling in here we should determine the x position at the direction of the down okay and so this procedure can be applied in the same way in this mc variable okay and then <coughs> we have three main parameters in our system dynamic approach mass spring and damping ratio of this system 
okay and mass is directly to relate to the kinetic energy of this kind of system and so we can write it easily as the mx uh, dot dot must be equal to the force and especially especially the fm is equal to the m times x uh, dot dot okay and so in order to create or in order to write the correct mass factor in here and then we should write the fm must be equal to the these are two terms or two drawings at the dynamics of this fm factor okay and so we have the piston mass with the relation of the x position in here with an acceleration factor and then we have two m1 parameter but in this time we should iterate the x but the m1 is not directly to change with the x because we have a degree at this time and so these two lengths are the same and so these two theta are equal and then if we push the one meter at this time and so the m is a change with the division of two okay and so if we push the x variable at this time divided by two is equal to the the motion or the moving parts deflection of this kind of system okay and so we need to two times m1 must be written at this time okay in the final form we can be write down as the x dot dot times parenthesis mc plus m1 and so this gives us a dynamic of this system okay related to the mass part <coughs> okay <coughs> and so in order to <coughs> establish the or in order to make a real part of this study or real device and so we should drive the mc as a rho c times v c rho c is the material selection which means that it's a density of this uh, system and so we see is the shape parameter how long or how can we design this uh, system by using the shape factors okay and so this procedure can be applied into the m1 parameter as the rho 1 times v1 okay and so we can also select the different parts of material selection in the links or the creating the, the spring factor in here and so we have another shape parameter position okay and so if we know the vc and v1 value in here and then we can design or build the whole this alloy structure by using our parameter in real life application <coughs> In the next lesson, we will continue with the spring factor calculation and then uh, finally we need to create a damping ratio by using the liquid dynamic.